Hey guys, welcome. Yeah, so in this video, I'm going to introduce vectors. I'll make many more videos on vectors and um, I will put them all under pre-calc, multivariable calc and linear algebra because all three subjects are a natural place where you can learn vectors. Yeah, all right, cool. Um, so let's get started with a definition of what a vector is. What are vectors? So a vector is a quantity with magnitude or size and direction or orientation. So a quantity with magnitude and direction, that is size and orientation, is a vector. And when we talk about vectors, it's very natural to talk about scalars. So let's define a scalar. As opposed to a vector, a scalar is a quantity with only magnitude. Um, and so here's a typical example of a scalar and then a vector. So speed is a scalar, whereas velocity is a vector. Because for speed, 60 miles per hour east or west does not matter. What matters for speed is 60 miles per hour. Whereas for velocity, um, 60 miles per hour need to be accompanied with west or east. Because 60 miles per hour west can get you to Cali, and 60 miles per hour east can get you to DC. So you want to know which direction in addition to the size. Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, when, we're talk when you're talking about a vector, that is. Uh, a scalar is just size. Okay, cool, cool. And uh, visually, we can represent, for example, 60 miles per hour northeast in this way. And if the length of this black vector represents um, 60 miles per hour, then I think it's fair that the length of this maroon vector, which I'm suggesting is half the length of the black vector, then represents 30 miles per hour. And in the case of the maroon vector, it's 30 miles per hour west. Oftentimes, west is associated with a negative sign on the vector, uh, and east, a positive sign, and similarly, north, um, a positive sign, and south, a negative sign. But we'll say more about that, which is a sign that comes with vectors, uh, when we talk about vector arithmetic, and that's a different video. Here, let's wrap up by saying a little bit more, and here's what more we say. Consider these three vectors on the coordinate axes. My claim is that when we defined vectors, we said that all that matters is the length or magnitude or size and the direction or orientation. And all three of these vectors are in the same direction and of the same length. Therefore, they are indistinguishable from one another. In other words, all three of them are the same vector. The location for vectors does not matter, only the direction and the size. And um, from practical standpoints, how would we figure out what vector this is? Um, and therefore, what vector this is or what vector this is? All three of them are the same, we just said. So how would we represent them? How would we write them as vectors? We have the visuals. Well, if you have the initial end coordinates, so the starting coordinates right here without the arrow, and the terminal end coordinates, so the ending coordinates, then you can subtract the coordinates of uh, the initial end from the coordinates of the terminal end to be able to say what vector you have. And you first subtract the x coordinates and then the y coordinates. So if we do that and call this vector u and therefore call this vector u and call this vector u, then we can write u in column format like this. So vectors are sometimes represented in column format, which is right here. So the vector u here uh, would be the vector 3, 5. 3 showing the x component and 5 showing the y component. And the computation of the x component and the y components is, as I said, we subtract the coordinates of the initial end from the coordinates of the terminal end. And so it comes as no surprise that when we do that, which is subtract uh, the coordinates of the initial end from the terminal end of this blue vector, we get the same vector 3, 5. Because as I said, the location does not matter, only the direction and size. Yeah? Okay, cool. Now, there are two other representations of this vector u. One of them is called a uh, unit vector form, and we'll talk about that more. But yeah, if i is a unit vector in the direction of the x-axis, um, and unit means length one, so if i is a vector of length one in the x-direction, and j is a vector of length one in the y-direction, and they are by definition, i and j are unit vectors in the x and y-direction, then we can represent the vector u as 3i plus 5j and what's called unit vector form. And I'll dedicate a video to unit vector form, so don't sweat that right now. 
um, just know that it's another way to write the vector uh, 3, 5 um, instead of column form here as uh, unit vector form here. Uh, and in fact, in a lot of books, instead of the column form, um, a lot of books prefer writing it with these brackets here. And so x component first, 3, and then y component next, 5. Yeah? Okay, cool. Of course, a vector doesn't have to be in two dimensions. It can be in three dimensions. So it'll have an x component, then a y component, then a z component. And it could also be in four dimensions and higher dimensions, right? Okay, all right. Um, keep watching, and you'll learn a lot more. Take care.